Hi, welcome back to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. I'm your host, Dr. Luigi Groton, Vice President of Nutrition Education. In this lesson, we will continue talking about carbohydrates. Today, you will learn about the difference between good and bad carbohydrates. This classification is based on the chemical structure of carbs. Bad carbs are quickly digested and absorbed in your body. Examples are sugar-rich foods such as soft drinks, cakes, candies, and pastries. Good carbs are broken down more slowly, and while they taste great, they usually have fewer calories. Now, most carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. Why does it matter which carbohydrates you consume? Why is the energy in a teaspoon of sugar any better or worse than the equivalent amount of carbs in a banana or whole wheat bread, or for that matter, in a chocolate bar? They are all different and your body absorbs them all in various ways. Let's see the difference between the good and bad carbohydrates. Welcome back to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In this lesson, we'll see which carbohydrates are good and which ones are not good. Let's get started. Now, we already know that carbohydrates are the main source of energy for your body. They come from a variety of foods, including fruits, vegetables, and grains. You must eat the right amount of carbohydrates daily to provide your body with energy in the form of glucose in the blood. We mentioned that carbohydrates are the key source of energy for your body and power everything you do. This is especially important during exercise when carbs also give you quick energy as your body demands it and keep your muscle cells functioning at their best during whatever activity you're doing. In fact, elite athletes know all about fueling and maintaining their performance by keeping up carbohydrate intake before, during, and after exercise. They make sure to have a high carbohydrate meal before exercising, then take in small amounts during exercise, often in the form of a sports drink. Then, after exercise, they consume carbohydrates to replenish the body's energy stores. When we talk about good carbohydrates, we mean those foods which contain carbohydrates in addition to other things your body needs, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and natural plant nutrients. These good carbohydrates are absorbed more slowly by the body, which leads to a greater feeling of fullness, staving off and controlling hunger. Additionally, blood sugar levels are slower to rise, so you don't experience energy spikes. Instead, energy is more even and is better maintained along with mood. It's easy to see why we should focus on consuming good carbohydrates. There are other qualities that make good carbohydrates good. For example, they are generally unprocessed or less processed, and we all know the dangers of processed foods. Good carbs also naturally contain more fiber, which is good for digestive health. Digestion is aided by the presence of fiber and bowel movements are regulated. And good carbs are broken down more slowly by the body into sugar, unlike refined sugars and sugar-loaded processed foods, which can cause sugar surges in the bloodstream. You can get good carbohydrates, usually complex carbohydrates, in a variety of foods, from whole grains, including oats, rice, barley, and the protein-rich quinoa. From grain-based foods, like whole grain bread and pasta. From fruits and non-starchy vegetables. As you can see, there is an abundance of options to meet your good carb needs. Did you know that good carbohydrates can be made bad through the refining process? It's true. When whole wheat grains are cultivated and then taken to a processing plant and prepared to be made into white bread, most of the nutrition is removed from the whole grain 
including fiber, vitamins, and minerals. So the white bread is now a simple carbohydrate rather than a complex carbohydrate, and it has lost much of its nutritional value. This refining also applies to rice, oats, and other whole grains. Did you know? Not all brown colored bread is made from whole grains. Some wheat breads are basically white breads with added color to make them look brown. We learned that good carbs are absorbed into our system at a slower rate. And this has many benefits, including more sustained blood sugar levels, meaning more sustained energy levels. We've already seen the many benefits of good carbohydrates in optimizing how the body functions and in the nourishment they provide. Here are a few more benefits. Good carbs offer more fiber per bite than bad carbs, benefiting digestive function. Good carbs also tend to offer more water and thus more hydration in every bite. And, very importantly, good carbs have fewer calories per bite, ensuring that you stay within your calorie allowance also possibly help you lose or maintain weight. Bad carbohydrates are very unlike good carbohydrates. They are usually processed foods, think white sugar and white flour, and so much of their nutritional value has been removed. Bad carbs, as we've seen, are quickly absorbed by the body. Because bad carbs are largely in processed foods, they often are loaded with calories and fats of which we might not be aware. We learned that bad carbs are absorbed into our system at a very rapid rate. When carbs are converted into glucose quickly, this can lead to a spike in sugar levels and may be followed by a drop or a crash. This can lead to fatigue and difficulty in concentrating. If the body can't use all the excess sugar, which it probably can't, then it will be converted and stored as fat. Here are a few more facts about bad carbs. They contain less fiber per bite, meaning you will need to eat more fiber-rich foods to make up for the bad carbs. The other option would be to take a fiber supplement. Bad carbs may have more fats, and usually unhealthy fats, than good carbs. In fact, these fats are often hidden, and we don't even think about them. We just think about our cravings for sweets. Lastly, Bad carbs contain a lot more calories per bite than good carbs do, which could lead to increased calorie intake, resulting in weight gain. Whether you are disciplined about eating only good carbs, hooked on bad carbs, or are somewhere in between, you may benefit from fiber supplements. Fiber supplements may boost the amount of fiber in your diet and slow the absorption of carbohydrates. They also can promote healthy digestion. To optimally control your hunger, you need to consume protein and carbohydrates together. Protein, as we know, is great at staving off hunger pangs and keeps you feeling full. Add good carbs to the mix and you'll feel really satisfied while getting your nutrients. You'll also be energized and be able to take on the day. Eating meals consistently, mostly of fats and carbohydrates, will not keep your hunger at bay. Remember, stick to protein with your good carbs and see what the next slide has to reveal about a healthy diet. You need to consume protein and carbohydrates together, 
rather than fats and carbohydrates to control hunger. By eating good carbs and adding a fiber supplement, you can control your hunger and get the nutrition you need every day. Good work! You've completed another lesson in the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In the next lesson, we'll put the theory into practice. See you at the next meeting.